Okay, so let's talk a little bit about test-driven development or TDD. So TDD is more or less a industry standard today. You are going to be expected to know this as a professional developer and you are going to be expected to write unit tests. And a unit test is a piece of code that you write to make sure that something that you build for your application is working as intended. In other words, it's just a test to make sure that your implementation is working correctly. Now, I'm going to go out a little bit on a limb here and say that if you don't do the, this type of testing and if you work for a company that doesn't like this type of approach to developing software, I would quit that company very quickly and look for a company who does do this because you are most likely working for a company or you're working in a workflow that is pretty much unsustainable long term. There is no way that you are going to be able to maintain a large application without having any type of unit tests. You can, you can say whatever you want about that but I, I, there is a reason why the all the major companies, like every single major IT company does this and it's basically an industry standard at this point. So there's some people who don't like doing unit tests, especially in JavaScript, and I argue that if you want to be a professional, you need to be doing this stuff. Uh, that's just the way I feel about it. Anywho, let's not get religious about unit tests because there are some people who are actually quite religious so let's walk through this so the first thing i'm doing here is that i'm requiring my lib and then i'm requiring shy's expect function and expect shy is a framework that a library for assertions which basically is a way of saying okay is this thing true and if it's not true throw an error or some sort and expect is a function that does that exact thing now I have two dependencies for my testing. So the first one is Chai, and then I have Mocha, which is a test runner. And then I have a script that runs Mocha on my test file. And if we look in my implementation, this is just an empty add function. Now, this isn't going to do anything at this point, and we don't want it to because we want to write our test before we make our implementation. And the reason we, why we want to do that is because if you write your logic first, you are going to know how that code works. And that's bad, because if you know how the code works, you will try to make your test work with your code. And that's the wrong way. You want to make sure that you have a vague idea what's going to happen, and then write a test that expects something to happen, and then you create an implementation that actually passes that test. Because if you don't do that, you're going to start writing worse code because you're go as I said, you're going to try to make your test work with your implementation instead of the other way around. So bear that in mind. Try to write your test first. So here we have some syntax that is Mocha specific. So a describe is a way of grouping functionality and it's going to log out my lib test and then it's going to run everything inside of it and this simple example we simply have an it call here and it is the actual test this is the actual test that's going to run and it's going to you go to this line here and it's going to make an expect so expect my lib to be okay all this is doing it looks a little bit weird but this is going to check that the my lib variable actually contains something that is truthy in this case an object that's what it's going to be then we go down to this line here there's another describe so now i want to test the add function on my mylib module and inside of that I have a single test adds two numbers together so mylib.add1 and 1 should equal 2. Now if I go to my terminal and I run this boom maybe it's a little bit too many errors for you to see here so I'll scroll up here yeah as you can see now this is how Mocha outputs a test suite or a test run. So as you could see it's running my lib test. First test passes, has a module. That's not a problem because that's just an import. And then it runs the add suite and that fails. 
and we have an assertion error here, expected undefined to equal two, which is exactly what we expect because we haven't made any implementation yet. So let's go back to mylib and do this. Like so. Save the file. Let's go back, run the test again, and now both our tests pass. Now this is a very trivial example, but this is the essence of how TDD works. You should really go deeper into learning how this works, and there are so many books and resources about it, but this should get you pretty far in understanding how it works and the type of mentality that you need to have and it's going as I said to be required of you in order to get any type of professional job as a JavaScript developer.